In Hartford's North End, just off Sterling Street, so many helping hands are changing the landscape here. And this is wonderful. Thank you so much. This is, thank you so much. This is beautiful. With Juneteenth as the catalyst, Kamora Harrington, who runs the community group, Kamora's Cultural Corner, has volunteers working every corner. So we are in the process of turning this into a land trust. This is going to be green space for the people of this community forever. Right now, we're actually cleaning up the uh, flower beds here. We're fixing up the, the uh, planter beds. We have some kale, cabbage, and collard greens over there. Everything, once it's grown, once it's produced, it's free. Officially called Thinking and Doing Day, there are dozens and dozens here to make a difference. You know, I can't help but think about the Black Lives Matter um, mural being defaced, letters with hate speech littered across from Rocky Hill. And um, this day allows us to have this counter narrative of what joy looks like, what community feels like. Like sun rays coming out. You know, while people are trying to tear us apart, magic like this is happening everywhere, including here. There are people from not just the north end of Hartford here, from all over? From all over. Um, I would say all over the state, but we've got a bunch of Western Mass folks up in here too. So folks from throughout the region. And from the ground level, there's also a message to uplift. Juneteenth is a metaphoric time for us to come together and contemplate freedom. While the original Juneteenth took place in Galveston, Texas, and reminds us of what freedom looked like for that group of people when they were finally freed, what it now means for the entire nation is freedom. In Hartford, Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.